This is problem three of eight EEB six. Derive the equation y is equal to mx plus b for a line that intersects the y-axis. Problem three, the ordered pairs all lie on the same line. Using the ordered pairs, write an equation in the form y equal mx plus b. So as usual, we're trying to write a linear equation. Okay, let's get our line here. We're going to start with y is equal to mx plus b. Okay, we don't really know what b is unless you look at this here. We've often talked about b being the y-intercept, the point 0, b, which means 3 is your y-intercept, 3 is your b. If you're not sure, you should plot a couple of the points and see. If I start here at 0, 3, I know that this is 0, 3. Okay, and we see that this point is on the y-axis. It's at 3. This is the point 0, 3. 3 is our b. Let's substitute 3 in for b. Now, let's look for our m. Our m is our slope, our rise over our run. Now, we talked about m being uh, rise over run before. We've also talked about it being change in y over change in x. Let's use it as change in y over change in x, and let's just grab two of these points here. I usually like to put them into a table so I can see them. Here's my x and my y. This point, here's your x and here's your y. This is at 0, 3. This point here, there's your x, there's your y. It's at 2, 7. If I look at this, the difference in these, 3 minus 7, that would be your change in y, over your x is 0 minus 2. 3 minus 7 would give me negative 4, 0 minus 2 would give me negative 2. Negative 4 divided by negative 2 would give me positive 2. y is equal to 2x plus 3. Now, I can check this by throwing in a point or two. Let's, let's just tr throw in a point or two. Or let's try our 5, 13. And here's our x. Here's our y. Is 13 equal to 2 times 5 plus 3? See how I put x and y in? Is 13 equal to 10 plus 3? 13 is equal to 13, so that point fits. At least we know one of the points fits, so... We're, we're going to assume we're right. Y is equal to 2x plus 3. You could throw in the other points to prove yourself right. 